Welcome to the special TLA series. My name is Keith Nguyen and I'm a local kayak angler, vlogger, vlogger in the greater San Francisco Bay Area. On this four part series, I traveled to Malaysia to explore the beautiful island of Penang, my first international travel vlogging trip. An island filled with diversity of culture, foods, ethnicities, and history, I spent two and a half weeks exploring the local markets, discovering unique foods, and taking in all the sights and sceneries of this beautiful island. From the Penang International Food Festival to majestic temples and world-class street art, this series will take us to the heart of Malaysian culture to explore the people, the foods, and of course, the fishery. My channel is all about fishing, so I take a fishing trip with a local friend and fisherman, Gary Wee, who works for Seahawk, a tackle and fishing distribution company located in Penang. He takes me fishing to the local lakes to explore new types of fishery and schools me on local fishing techniques and culture there. I'm excited for this series, so let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of TLA. We have a special treat this week. I'm doing my first international trip to Malaysia. I have a few friends out there that fishes and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna go catch some, some fish. I mean, I've never been to Malaysia before and it's been an awesome time now that the restrictions are down and everything. Got a scuba, nice deal on a flight so I'm gonna go there and do it. I'm super excited. I haven't been traveling for like three years since the pandemic. Um, it's an amazing place to, to go check out all the different scenes and, and understand the culture and try the, all the different foods. I'm really excited to be out there and uh, like I said on my channel this is the first time that I've been gone international fishing or international traveling. Here at SFO had my friend Danny and Lonnie drop me off early on in the morning and uh, Got a few hours left until everything checks in and uh, I'm really excited to get this thing going, get on the plane and, and uh, make a few stopover by uh, from, uh, Singapore and then to Malaysia where I'm actually my final destination is going to be. So, um, all right, let's go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle so the passengers behind you can pass you. This will expedite our boarding process. Your large carry-on items need to go in the overhead compartments. Your smaller ones underneath the seat in front of you, keeping all exits and aisles clear. If you need assistance, please contact the flight attendant. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for departure, please check to see that your seatbelts are securely fastened. Your window shades are open, seat bags are in the upright and locked position. Your tray tables have been put away, all your carry-on items are securely stored. I love to travel because it allows me to broaden my horizons and learn new things. The anticipation before loading, takeoff, and the flight never gets old. Fly over, I was lucky enough to snag a whole aisle to myself, so things were already starting to look up for the adventure. And of course, airline food as well. Airline food.
I just got off the flight from um, from San Francisco, and I'm out here, out here in uh, in Singapore. I'm at the the big airport, and there's like a ton of things. Like this is basically like a big mall right now, and. Uh, you know, I think this is like the transit hub for a lot of the, uh, the places that Singapore Airlines is going to go to in different parts of the Asia. So so definitely there's like big layovers here. Like, for example, my layover is like 13 hours. And so as a result, I mean, I have like a 13 hour layover till the next flight in the morning. So I'm going to there's these different lounges that you can kind of hang around this area with. And uh, and there's like paid lounges and there are different restaurants things you can kind of eat at so it's kind of cool I think um, there's just these really beautiful flowers you can kind of see right there and um, yeah man if, if you if you just want to chill out there's a lot of free lounges available where you can just you don't have to pay anything you just can't sit on the floor a lot of people just kind of sit on the floor and just kind of rest it out until whenever but if you want some more privacy they have different rooms and stuff you can rent as well and it's more like paid lounges that are Kind of higher upscale and kind of away from everybody you know so i'm thinking about actually doing that that's only about 60 dollars a night and then there's like really super high-end stuff so you know whatever uh, fancies you singapore is a transportation hub to many of the surrounding countries such as indonesia malaysia and thailand international travelers such as myself flying into singapore can expect to lay over for 12 to 14 hours at night in order to catch a morning flight to their final destination there are many lounges available to the public both free and paid the paid lounges charge by the hour and offer some semblance of privacy amenities such as drinks and snacks while resting the airport hotels are available by the hour but the rates are pretty extreme in my opinion most travelers would just nap on the floor or take various snooze lounges that are available throughout the terminal. I really enjoyed the various decorative areas that the architects put into their terminals, such as the koi ponds. The fish are a big hit with kids and travelers alike from all over the world. There are also butterfly gardens, flower artworks, and horse murals. These are all part of the ambience that makes the stay much more enjoyable at the airport. One of the major attractions for a long layover in Singapore is the free Singapore tour that is sponsored by the Singapore Tourism and Travel Board. I was excited to spend some time traveling to the various sites in Singapore during my layover, but unfortunately because of COVID-19, the tour had been temporarily suspended. Finally, the food courts were open late into the night to allow incoming international travelers the opportunity to grab some dinner before the long layover. There are kiosks available for travelers to order their food remotely, then take their tickets to the correct stalls when the numbers are called. It's an efficient means to feed and move travelers along in the airport. There's lots of love when traveling to Singapore. Even the airport itself is a travel destination in itself, but time was limited and I needed to take my last leg of the trip to Penang. Please give your attention to the cabin crew at the front of the cabin. All right, guys, after like 30 something odd hours, finally made it to my final destination, Penang International Airport here in Malaysia. Oh man, what a trip. Long time, but I'm finally glad I made it here. Probably have to go through customs right now. Gotta check out customs, get all my stuff figured out and get out of here. What's up, boys and girls? I'm in Malaysia. Oh man, what a flight. It was a crazy flight. It was a crazy time. I had to go through 30 something odd hours on the plane, on the ground, sleeping on the floor. But now I'm here at my final destination. It's a beautiful place, guys. It's a really nice place. I'm gonna spend here the next few days. Uh, two and a half weeks, actually. I'm gonna spend here about two and a half weeks. I'm gonna go out there, we're gonna go eat, we're gonna go explore. We're gonna explore this town, we're gonna explore what fisheries they have uh, at the end of the at the end of the trip, but uh, 
I'm excited. This is my first time uh, going international, going fishing. I'm gonna take you guys out this time to go traveling with me. In the last few trips that I've did over the years, I really didn't have an audience to take you guys traveling. But this time, we're gonna do a lot. We're gonna go out, we're gonna eat, we're gonna try all these different uh, cuisines. Uh, I have some friends here who's gonna be taking me out, so we're gonna do that. So um, my, my overall thought is I'm gonna have like a four part series on this, four different videos. All right, catch you guys later. After finally arriving in Penang, it was time to get situated and get our trip started. In part two of this series, we will discover Penang Hill, a famous tourist attraction on the island. The hill has amazing views of the entire island from the treetop canopies, in addition to lots of attractions on the hill itself. This is a must-see for world travelers. We will also attend the annual Penang International Food Festival, a world-famous event that celebrates hawkers and the diversity of street food that makes Penang famous. And finally, we will explore Armenia Street, the art districts of Penang. Here, the street murals are world-class and a treat for creatives like myself. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time on another episode of TLA International.